Hey, you're messing with the real ones. We're Cloakroom. This is Bobby. I'm Doyle. I'm going to tell you about my first show I ever went to. I was the ripe age of 15 years old and my mom dropped me off at Jabba Gyms in Laporte to see a band called Blood and Blood Out, one of the best hardcore bands in the business. Uh, as we speak, a uh, straight edge band from Denver also opened. They had two singers. I thought that that was a little out of the ordinary. Took me by surprise. Two singers popping off on stage. It was nice. I bought a big shirt and I probably still have it somewhere at my folks house. Well, I mean, uh, I met a lot of people there, you know, the local scene. You gotta, you gotta make connections, gotta meet people that play guitar and play drums. I met a couple of people there, started a band with them. You know, it could happen to you. And my mom picked me up about 10.30 and that was kind of late, you know. I got to see pretty much everything, a straight edge show. It ran on time, it was nice. I was in bed by midnight. Uh, the first show I went to, I think Zach, our sound guy, who's here tonight, always with us. Uh, we were really into punk music. This would have been middle school, so I was in seventh or eighth grade. It was definitely in eighth grade that we went to this show. We went to go see uh, some dudes in the grade above us had a punk band from Portage. They were going to play a show at the. Uh, it was at a. It was in Lake Station, Indiana. It was at. I want to. I want to say like. It was like a uh, American Legion. It was the American. Club. No, it wasn't at the Eagles Club. No? It was. It was down the road from there. Mm. It was at the American Legion in Lake Station. So it was a place that didn't typically have shows. They had to rent it out. There was a cop. They had to have a cop. It was like one of those vibes, you know. But yeah, they played. They were the only band they played. All the other bands canceled. Um, and they played for like 15 minutes. It was mostly covers. But it was like what basically made us feel like we wanted to be in a band like I guess getting out and seeing people we knew personally play music in front of other people was kind of like oh aha it can be done like okay I understand like uh, there was like a small mosh pit I think and I think somebody might have fallen through a table so considering there was only 30 people there it was pretty pretty hopping there was, pretty some, poppin'. there was some destruction they had to cover it up destruction you know they probably had to pay for that table I would assume but after that, Zach and I, we started our first band, and that was pretty much what, you know, was the beginning of what eventually led to here, I would assume, you know. 